Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video of Scala. In this video, I'll be talking about a lazy version of a list which is called as a lazy list. I've already have defined, I already have made a separate video for the list. In case you haven't watched it, I'll be putting up the link of that video in the description box. Let's get started with the lazy list. A lazy list is an immutable sequence type collection, very similar to the list. It means both lazy list and list are of a type immutable and comes under the sequence class. We call it lazy because it computes its elements only when they are needed. So that's why it's called lazy. It means we delay the computation until and unless it is actually required. That's why we call it as a lazy. How we can create a lazy list similar to the double colon method used for creating list. Lazy list are created with the hash colon double colon method. So uh, we use lazy list dot empty to end a lazy list, which is equivalent to nil used for ending a list. If you must be, uh, if you have seen that video, must be rem remembering that how we were ending the simple list. We were ending the simple list with the nil, right? Here we have to use the empty method. This is the syntax that we're gonna use to create a lazy list in which we are having some head available. Uh, then we have hash double colon tail hash double colon. Then we have to end the list with the lazy list dot empty keyword. So uh, what is the what is the significance of lazy computation? Why I'm talking about lazy here? Uh, it is it come very handy when you are doing very complex or very heavy calculations. So let's suppose you have to uh, create a list uh, of elements from one to this much of numbers. It's very heavy, very huge number. So uh, we can do this with the help of simple list like this syntax list dot from then one to that number, it, which is quite big. But if you run this one, uh, you, you are uh, going to get an error, uh, some memory space. Uh, it will be consuming a lot of memory space or heap error or Java some error you will be getting on the screen, right? Uh, but if you do it with the help of lazy list, it will not be getting any error. I'll be showing you this, this computation, this demonstration in a while. So this is the advantage we get with the lazy list because it will not be uh, giving the, uh, like it not be uh, like uh, providing the uh, resources to this, this number yet. It will be, it will be called or it will be uh, come into effect when you actually call for a first time. This is the advantage we get with the lazy list. So what is stream? Actually in the older versions of a Scala before 2.13, we were using streams, but now it has been uh, changed to lazy list. So only difference with the with the streams and lazy list is like the stream compute the head element even when not required. This is the advantage. This is the difference. Not advantage is a difference. Like in the case of streams, it uh, computes the head element even when it not required. But in the case of lazy list, it it is completely lazy. It not be computing head as well. This is the difference between stream and lazy list. Now let's go to the Scala terminal. And let's see uh, how we can make use of lazy list in Scala. And I've already have uh, putting down all the important points in the notepad file, how we can create a lazy list. And I'll be showing you the difference or comparison of a regular list and the lazy list. Let's get started. I've already have opened up my Scala terminal. And in this case, let's uh, start with the first uh, point, how we can create a lazy list in which I'll be creating a lazy list of some numbers. You can see it here. As I've already have stated in the presentation that you have to separate two numbers with the hash double colon and to uh, mark the end of the lazy list, we have to use lazy list dot empty method. You can see in the output, I got a result. It is not computed. That's why we call it lazy. It not be computed until and unless it is actually required. So it means it, it is delaying the computation. This is the advantage we get with the lazy list, which is not there with the regular list. So now let's see, this is a simple uh, uh, list available as I've already have stated in the uh, presentation or in the separate video, like we always use sim uh, nil to mark the end of the list, right? It's a regular list. You can see list string, but uh, the same thing we can do with the help of lazy list as well. It is called as a lazy version of that list in which everything is same. All the, we are having same uh, fruit names, orange, banana, apple, grape, but you can see the end is different as well as uh, the the separator is different earlier we were using double colon but now we are using hash double colon so this, this is a difference between lazy list and the list now let's see if we have to uh, generate uh, like if we have to create a generate a list of a uh, very huge numbers what will happen if you do this with the regular list uh, first, it will take a lot of time, a lot of resources of your system, right? And you are uh, you are expecting or you can uh, expect one uh, error in a while. You can see now it is taking a lot of time, okay? Because the numbers are very huge. 
and it is taking a lot of time to uh, generate those numbers but at the end of the list at, at, at the end after some time you will find that maybe your laptop got uh, a lot of resources of your laptop or your system got con uh, got consumed or you are uh, you can uh, get some error at the end that you can see java heap space or out of memory error this is because we are using regular list but if i'm using the same thing with the help of lazy list you'll see this no error we will be getting let's see do the same thing but but with the lazy prefix you can see in this case i'm just getting the uh, output as expected not computed yet because it not be computed until unless it is actually required so this is the difference between simple list and lazy list i hope from this video you must have understood the main difference between these two collections for for rest of the content i'll be covering in our next video thanks for watching guys see you next video